Welcome to the Family History Guide, Starting Your Genealogical Research in Argentina. This video will introduce you to Argentina Goal 1, Research and Records. This goal will teach you step-by-step -step about doing research and finding records about your Argentine ancestors and relatives. Learning about the history of the countries where you do genealogical research is helpful in understanding how and where to find the country's records. The first human settlements in what is now Argentina have been found on the southern tip of Patagonia and date to around 13,000 years ago. The oldest human traces found in the Argentine territory were discovered in Ayamapitin, Cordoba, and Itihuasi, San Luis, and are around 8,000 years old. In the late 15th century, the native tribes of the Quebrada de Umawaca were conquered by the Inca Empire under Topo Inca Yupanqui to secure the supply of metals such as silver, zinc, and copper. The Incan domination of the area lasted for about a half a century and ended with the arrival of the Spanish in 1536. In 1516, the Spanish navigator Juan Diez de Solis became the first European explorer to visit the Rio de la Plata on territory which is now part of Argentina. Santa Maria del Buena Aire was founded by Pedro de Mendoza in 1536 on the site of the modern Buenos Aires. In 1536, the establishment of the Spanish Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata included today's Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay as well as much of present-day Bolivia. Buenos Aires was declared as its capital. The Spanish colonial empire lasted until 1810, when the viceroy of New Spain was overthrown, launching the War of Independence. José de San Martín was born on February 25, 1778, and died on August 17, 1850. He was an Argentine general, and the primary leader of the southern and central parts of South America's successful struggle for independence. San Martín joined the independence movements in South America in 1812, and Argentina successfully achieved its independence on July 9, 1816, under his leadership. He is known as the liberator of Argentina, Chile, and Peru. Another leader of the independence movement was Manuel Belgrano. He was born on June 3, 1770, and died on June 20, 1820. He played a crucial role in the fight for independence and is considered one of Argentina's founding fathers. Many places in Latin America are named after their famous leaders. The years following independence were followed by decades of turmoil, attempted foreign intervention, and civil war between centralist and federalist forces. In 1854, the federalist provinces ratified a constitution that established the Argentine Confederation, which centralists in Buenos Aires repudiated while declaring themselves independent. In 1861, the province of Buenos Aires finally reintegrated with the Argentine Confederation to form a united country. In 1943, nationalist army officers seized power in protest at stagnation and electoral fraud. One leading figure was Colonel Juan Domingo Perón. Beginning in 1946, Juan Perón won the presidential election on a promise of higher wages and social security. His wife, Eva Evita Perón, was put in charge of labor relations. With over 45 million people, Argentina is one of Latin America's largest economies and most stable democracies. However, the country has struggled with political dysfunction and financial crisis in more recent decades. Argentina is a federation of 23 provinces and one autonomous city. Buenos Aires. Each province has its own capital and its own constitution. The provinces are divided for administrative purposes into departments and municipalities, except for Buenos Aires province, which is divided into partidos and localidades. 
which do not have English language equivalents. Buenos Aires City itself is divided into geographic areas called comuna and non-official neighborhoods called barrios. Spanish is the predominant language in Argentina and is understood and spoken as a first or second language by nearly all the population. The variety of Spanish dialects spoken in Argentina is unique and has been influenced by the Italian-speaking immigrants. Italian ranks second among the languages spoken in Argentina, with over 1.5 million people speaking Italian as their first language. This is largely due to significant Italian immigration that began in the 19th century. Approximately 1 million people in Argentina speak Levantine Arabic. This is as a result of immigrants from mainly Lebanon, Syria, and Palestine arriving in Argentina at the end of the 19th century until around 1920. Other languages spoken by between 100,000 and a million people include Quechua, with 800,000, German, between 400,000 and 500,000, Yiddish, 200,000, Guarani, 200,000, Catalan, 174,000, and Mapudugan, spoken by the Mapuche people, about 100,000. English is another important language in Argentina and is obligatory in primary school instruction in various provinces. Argentina is the only Latin American country characterized as high aptitude in English. Argentina is a predominantly Catholic country. Estimates of the number of Catholics in Argentina vary from as low as 62.9% to as high as 92.12%, but less than 20% practice their faith regularly. It is also estimated that 15.3% are Protestants, about 2% of the population are Muslims, and about 1% of the population are Jewish. The rest of the population do not have a religious preference. At the beginning of the 20th century, Buenos Aires was the second largest Catholic city in the world after Paris. The Catholic Church in Argentina is made up of 14 ecclesiastical provinces, each led by a metropolitan archbishop. These provinces are further divided into 14 archdioceses and 48 dioceses, each led by a bishop or archbishop. As of December 31, 2021, the Catholic Church in Argentina had 2,890 parishes 480 mission stations, and 7,066 other centers. Finding the exact location of an event in an ancestor's life is the most important element of successful research. Names and dates are also important, but only become entirely useful when you know the exact location of an event in your ancestor's life. In Argentina, knowing the parish where your ancestors lived is essential to finding records about your family. The links in the Family History Guide will also provide you with valuable information about how to find your ancestors in Argentina. Study the choices in this goal to develop your research skills.